Hello, thank you for joining me. It's Tuesday the 2nd of April. Now I'm using my lovely Crystal Tarot by Philip Permit, the Crystal Healer, who some of you probably have heard of. So let's see what two cards come out for us today. One, oh, nice. And two, okay. We have the Eight of Cups and we have the Five of Wands. So as some of you know, with these beautiful cards, there's always a crystal. We've got the crystal here for the Eight of Cups and it's in the cups. And we've got the crystal here with the Five of Wands, just at the bottom of the wands there. What I'm really drawn to with these two, it's like they're a yin and yang of each other. We've got predominantly the blue watery feel of the cups, but an orange crystal. And then in this Fiery Wands card, we've got the blue crystal. So I feel like they're going to be complementing each other beautifully. So I haven't got the best memory in the world. <laughs> so I do use the book to remember what these um, crystals are. Okay, so Eight of Cups. We've got Fire Agate. And again, that's really interesting, isn't it? Because this is a water card, but the crystal is a fire card, a bit like our wands. Fire Agate, according to Philip's lovely book here, Fire Agate offers protection and emotional security as you advance. So, okay, that's very, very helpful. Let's see what the fire, I think it's Blue Lace Agate actually, because I've seen this one before. Yeah, Blue Lace Agate. Okay, I love this crystal. I use it on um, my crystal healing with clients for the throat chakra. It is a beautiful crystal. But for this particular card, it's helping calm your emotions and aid clear communication. Well, isn't that important when we're going through a Mercury retrograde? How many people have got themselves in an argument or a conversation and thought, how did I get here? <laughs> so maybe carrying something for your throat chakra, a lovely crystal like Blue Lace Agate would be a really good thing to do over the next few weeks while we're going through retrograde. So what I feel with these, as I said, it's like the yin and the yang. We've got this Ace of Cups card, which I'm never um, surprised to see when we're going through an eclipse, because for me, this card is um, that kind of advancement that we get in an eclipse. I feel like it's, it always comes out when we have an eclipse season in one format or another. And it is that idea that, yes, you've done well and you've got a lot around you, but there's something missing. And that eclipse portal is just giving us that necessary shift and feeling that something's not quite right and we're not quite sure what it is because we're being urged to progress and to go and find what it is that we need to complete our cycle or move to our higher self or find that inner peace or just, you know, we're ready now. We've got done a lot of inner work. We feel more positive. So we feel ready now to move on. We feel like we've got the tools at our disposal. You know, these cups are all upright. The water's coming out of them. So emotions are flowing freely at the moment, um, which again is is very, uh, very likely to happen in an eclipse season, a Mercury retrograde season. So, or if you've just spent your whole weekend with your in-laws as well, because it's Easter, that can happen too. So, yeah, I really feel like this is just reminding us where we're at astrologically reminding us that there can be more for us if we take the chance to go and find it and of course we've got the five of wands fives mean uncertainty and change and yes we said this yesterday i used the astrology reading card yesterday so if you didn't see that go back and have a look but so we're in this portal at the moment we're neither at the end of a cycle or at the start we're in that middle that transitional period where Things are strange and we're not quite sure how to move forward. And that can be unsettling and it can be quite emotional. And But I feel like this car, because we're using the crystals and we've got that blue lace agate, I really do feel like this is don't bottle it up. Come on, we've got to get our emotions out one way or the other. So I feel like this is a purging and a cleansing of our emotions. I don't feel... The five of wands in this case is um, about arguing or, you know, problems, which sometimes it can, you know, in other packs, we have the lions fighting or the people fighting, don't we, all bashing each other with sticks. I feel that this is more internal. Understanding changes are happening within you. 
but don't get them blocked here. Do you ever feel like you've got a pain here or here? It's that blocked communication, that blocked throat chakra. And even if it means you end up having to say how you feel to your pet, <laughs> but, um, you know, just saying it out loud, you might even have a spirit guide or somebody in your life that's gone to spirit recently and there was things that you didn't say to them and you feel like you can't move on until you said them. So speak out loud because, you know, the loved ones and the spirits of this world are, are always around. So if you feel like you've got to say something, then, you know, say it. But I feel that it's necessary if you're feeling here really, really blocked. And as I'm saying that, I'm getting a sensation here. So I feel like this is a collective message for all of us. Really check in with your throat chakra today and feel, you know, do I feel restricted here? Is this something that I need to say? Of course, I think it would be important to just remind us all again that there is a retrograde period. Sometimes we may say things to people and there might be a misunderstanding. So I feel like that crystal is reminding us about clear, concise communication and doing it in a caring, compassionate way. I don't feel like this is a point where we're just going to be going, and another thing that you do. It's about how you feel and, you know, getting those internal feelings and communicating them out. So it's just very much about starting sentences of, I feel not you do. <laughs> they never end well, those conversations, do they? <laughs> so if you do have these um, beautiful crystals, then perhaps use them today. Or if you don't, you just have a blue crystal, I really do feel that that would be helpful for you to just keep in your pocket or your bra or your handbag or wherever you put your crystals. You don't have to share if it's personal. Okay, I'll be back again tomorrow with another reading for you. I hope you have a wonderful day and I look forward to seeing you tomorrow. Bye for now.